YouTube, welcome back to another video. It's been a few days since I last filmed something. Today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, 450L Supermoto wheels and tires finally came in. I don't need to beat around the bush because that's probably the thumbnail and title. But before we get to that, a lot of stuff has been going on, a lot of different projects going on trying to finish. One being the pit bike that's taken apart. Hopefully by the end of the next week, the full rebuild video will be out on that. We got parts all over for that thing, wheels taken apart, stuff getting powder coated, full bin of parts on that thing. So pit bike content coming soon. Over here, we got a bunch of graphics for the 110, along with my uh, 250F. We're going a little gray kit, thanks to AM Designs. I'll leave his link below for all your graphics needs uh, for your bikes. But we got the 250 kit, and then underneath somewhere we have the... Here's a little sneak peek of the 110 kit, just some fancy little stuff. So we'll get that going, 450L going, 250F, uh, plastic swap, color combo switch up, get that thing going, and uh, a bunch of stuff going on. I haven't filmed any riding on the 450L. Um, I've had a bunch of videos back to back, like riding videos on the 450L, and I wanted to wait for the Supermoto stuff to come in before I do any more riding videos because I know that's long awaited. It's been like seven, eight weeks on those things. But without further ado, I know a lot of you are probably super eager. You would have already seen it like everything else with the videos. If you don't follow my Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, like you'd see pretty much everything before the videos come out. You would have already seen the wheels. Um, before we get to the wheels, we'll talk about the tire setup. Um, we're running the Dunlop. These are the Q3 Pluses, I believe. Let me double check. It's been a little while since I've looked at these things. Yep, the Q3 Pluses. So, oh, but um, that's the tire setup we're running. And then over here, we just have the uh, tubes, Michelin heavy duty tubes. So if you want to match the setup, everything will be linked down below on the Moto Store. Hooking it up with tires and wheels and everything, getting me set up on the 450L. And over here on the bench, we got some fancy dirt trick sprockets for the 125 and the 250. Setting me up. If you haven't heard of dirt tricks, these things will la outlast any sprocket setup you could potentially buy. These are the best sprockets on the market. I'll talk about them more once I'm putting them on the bike and kind of my review and long-term review over time. But guys are getting year, two years out of these sprockets, no problem. Right now, go in the comments, leave a comment what you think the color combo I went on these things, if you could see them in the thumbnail. Um, it's a little bit different. It'll make sense once the whole bike is built. But without further ado, here are the wheels for the 450L. Pretty fancy. Kind of just the more simple look. I'd match the hub to the nipples. And uh, here's the rear wheel. We got the front wheel. And they're pretty similar to my 125. This is um, a little bit darker than this. I thought they were actually going to be the same color as the 125, but I actually like this better now um, for the 450L sake. But I believe they're called uh, the magnesium color. Pretty sure it's magnesium. If any of you wanted to get a matching set, and uh, yeah, like I said, huge thank you to the Moto Store. I'll leave their Instagram and website in the description. If you want to get anything Super Moto related, that's the sort of shop on. Check them out and uh, get yourself a set of wheels, parts, anything like that. I'm really stoked on these things. Can't wait to. I'm going to get the tires and stuff put on right now. And uh, hopefully don't pinch the tubes. It's just kind of a subtle look. Like I said, it'll make more sense once I do the full build this winter on the 450L why I went with this color combo. It'll kind of match a little bit better. Not that, I mean, these are pretty universal. We'll match with any color, but yeah, I'm stoked on them. Got to mention, they're uh, Warp 9 Elite wheels if you couldn't see it from when I was showing you before, so. There were two options I could have chosen. The uh, the spoked, well, these are spoked, but the, uh, the solid spoked or uh, the normal traditional spokes. I like this better personally. Everything all blacked out, black spokes to uh, match everything. Good bit. I had to put it on the ground and then actually get some leverage with a tire spoon to get the final um, stretch. So, rear's done, good to go, filled up with air, no leaks as of right now. So, move on to the front. All right, now for the front here, I guess I'll talk about um, the tool I'm using. If you haven't seen me use it and you're new here, this is the Baja No Pinch tool. I'll leave it linked below. Basically, you just put it in the axle, 
and we'll take the sleeve off of the rear. You put it in the axle, and then once you get the tire on here, what it does, so you put it into the right length um, on this kind of sliding gear system, and uh, you just pull it back, and it pushes the bead on all the way around, really easy. Um, no need for a uh, normal traditional like tire spoon, and uh, just makes it a lot easier, and hence the no pinch tool. You shouldn't have an issue pinching the tubes with this tool and uh, save your wheel so you don't scuff it up. Overall, I'd recommend this to anybody that has an issue changing tires for sure. All I do with the tires is when I put the tube in, some baby powder, spray it with some soapy water. It should go on pretty smooth. here, fill it up with some air, and uh, pop the bead on over here. There it is. The next step here, we'll get both the front and rear wheels taken off, and we'll get the new ones bolted on, see how it looks. Here's the tire wear with the bike having about roughly 1,500 miles, 1,400 miles, so there's your reference on these, uh, what are they, the IRC, um, I don't know specifically, whatever comes stock on here, um, tread wear from all the road and off-road riding. Pretty worn down, it's pretty much time for a new off-road tire, I'd say, personally. Front, front's pretty solid though, still, to be honest, not too bad. Hi. Shout out to Honda or uh, whoever put this together for all the, the proper grease and stuff on this axle. Sweet. Literally nothing on here, it's dry. Now onto the front. All right, wheels are taken off right next to the missile of the stock exhaust. Moment of truth, we'll get these bad boys put on there. I'm so stoked on how it's gonna look. I uh, shifted over the um, front brake line from the inside to the outside. Had to undo that. I might have to trim the fork guard. I'm gonna see here when I roll them in and line it up. I don't know. Hope not. Dumb, it didn't have the bracket on there, so we just undid the brake, we'll slide it in, and then we'll align the brake. Boom, I'm good. So sweet. It like, almost, it's, it's barely gonna clear the fork guards. Barely. All right, finally the bike is done. You can see the bottom of the wheels here. If you're stoked, give this video a thumbs up finally for revealing the 450L with the street wheel set up. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm so stoked on how it came out. It looks so cool. Um, I don't know on camera if you're gonna be able to tell the color. Um, like I said, it's um, like a dark magnesium. We're gonna go ride it around, test it out. Um, the next clips, we'll talk about how much of a pain it was to put these on, but it is what it is. We're ready to go now, so. This thing looks so sweet now. Really pumped on it. So cool. Then if I didn't mention, these are the Dunlop Q3 Pluses, front and rear. Um, this is a, as far as width, I believe it's a 150, and then the front is, and the front's a 120. Everything will be in the description as far as specs if you want to match this wheel um, and tire combo on your 450L. And uh, the next couple of videos, we'll get my full review on it. I'll go slow on it. I like that wax on the tires from the factory, so I'll take it easy. And uh, yeah, we'll go test it out. It was kind of a pain, honestly, um, to get on. I had to take, um, at first I tried taking the caliper off, but then I took um, the chain guide off to actually get the wheel in to align everything, and then something in the brake came off. I had to retake everything off. It's been a full process as far as just the rear. Do it once over before I go ride it. It's good, everything should be good. All right, we'll just take it slow. Seems on the first couple uh, minutes on them, they feel pretty good. I'm just kind of swerving, getting them uh, worn in or trying to. Yeah, I think the speedometer is way off. There's no way I was doing 60 from that, from 40. Might have to buy that little, there's something I could buy that I could plug in to get the speed right. Might just ride next to Justin and see how off it is um, when he comes over, but 
It's a lot shorter now too. I can flat foot from tippy toe before. If anybody has a 450L, you know that these things are really tall stock. So now I can finally comfortably flat foot on the seat, which is nice. Feels smooth, seems good, brakes work fine. Another thing I want to mention is I went from the stock rear sprocket, which was a 52, I believe, to a 51, or I, I went down a tooth in the rear from whatever stock is, so should give me a little more top end. Let me know what you think. I'm really, really stoked on it. The color and the combo and everything. And uh oh, now plastic on the pipe. But yeah, we'll go ride it around. We'll give it a full, full ride this weekend and really test it out. So thing is so sweet now. So sick. Pumped on it. Let's go ride around. see how much it feels a little bit different I guess like coal wise So there it is hope you guys are all pumped on i wish i could have more of a riding video and i had somebody to film the third person but you'll see that in next video riding i want to have somebody here justin or anthony or bailey or something when we go riding that we can get some third person shots of wheelies and stuff like that so if you're new and you want to see more on this thing make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that kind of rolling down the road other than that i'm really stoked on it like i said um it's about six or seven miles an hour off from the stock how it was stock with the dirt tires so i'll have to accommodate for that when i'm riding right now until i get the little plug-in thing i believe i can just plug it under the seat that will fix that so we'll see i'll do some research tonight there was melting the plastic i could smell it we'll have to give them the full full review how they do on road a little bit of off-road because i'm not gonna not do some of the stuff like that I've done and not go a little bit off-road with these things. Things are sick, I'm pumped on it, and uh, that's really it. But like I said, if you wanna see more on this 450L, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends. If you wanna see more 450L videos, like I said, give the video a thumbs up, it helps me out a lot, helps the channel grow, helps me out. So if you wanna support me and the channel, and with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.